Hello, my name is Cheryl Cattell, and welcome to today's LinkedIn Minute. I'm so glad you joined. Today, we're going to look at the anatomy of the About section. So when you come to a profile, the only thing you see are the first three sentences of the About section. For this reason, I recommend that you use a few of the pain points that your customers are going through as a way to invite them in to learn more. Well, yes, that's me. Yes, tell me more. And then we expand the section. This is 2,600 words of pure keyword heaven. I highly recommend you use every single character if you can. So let's go through it briefly. After you've pulled them in with their pain points, the next section I recommend be written from a first person's perspective. Use the word I and me and tell them a little bit about your story, what it is that makes you passionate about what you do and what gives you some unique qualities that maybe no one else has. The next section of this about, I would recommend that you add something called industry experience. And this just lists the types of things or types of industries you've had exposure to. Next, you could list related job experience. And of course, we want to talk about our core competencies. In my case, I'm talking about some of the certifications and credentials that I have. And most importantly is, are the services offered? So if you are an international uh, person, like m many of my international clients who speak multiple languages, this is where I would list languages and the ones that you're fluent in, as well as just the ones you're conversational in. Very important. All right, and then finally, I've added this contact me too. Now you'll see I've got these little rascals called emojis to kind of set my contact me apart or visually help them find what way they want to reach out to me. So I'm going to show you how you will add or you could add some emojis to your profile and maybe some call out standouts like industry experience here. Um, and then I'll also talk about when you don't want to add emojis. So let's start with the section breaks. So you can see using all caps is a pretty effective way to do a section break. However, there's another option. I want to tell you about cool fonts, coolfont.org. And so for cool font, all you do is paste in what it is you would like to bold italic in this case. And you can see there's a lot of funky um, fonts here, and I don't recommend you use most of these. Um, in my case, I usually just look for uh, sans serif or a serif. In this case, I want a sans serif. So um, I'm going to copy this, head back to my profile, and just copy and paste it in. And voila, I have a section standout. All right. So anytime that you have what I call keywords, I don't recommend you use emojis. For some reason, if you use emojis in front of your keywords, you risk LinkedIn not seeing that keyword and being distracted by the emoji um, code in front of it. So I don't want to take any risks at all with my keywords. And so I'll use something like an asterisk or maybe a hyphen, something that LinkedIn can easily digest and still see my keywords. Now, when we get to the contact me, I want to use some emojis to help them visually find the best way to contact me. So let's say, for example, the call me, I would hop over to emojicopy.com and I could put in the word telephone or phone and I could get an icon such as this. 
When I click the icon, it brings up the emoji with a copy button that I can then copy and paste, bring it over here. Oops, not that, don't go that far. <laughs> and voila, I have a telephone in front of my phone number. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and this is a right use because really call me is not a keyword for me. So um, this is a good use of emojis. All right, well, that's it for today's LinkedIn Minute. Thanks so much for stopping by.